It's Thursday, it's First Shift, I'm Jennifer Fong. We'll begin the show with earnings news out of Ford. If you read any hesitancy from me, it's not that we don't know where we're going or that we don't know how to do it. It's that it's a massive undertaking that we have to have very thoughtfully orchestrated. That's Ford CEO Jim Hackett speaking with analysts during the automaker's third quarter earnings call Wednesday afternoon. Hackett well aware of the frustration some investors have expressed over the lack of details surrounding Ford's $11 billion restructuring plan announced in July. Hackett insists additional information will be shared over time. Meanwhile, he says the company is making progress in redesigning itself. We first have to find the areas that need the attention. We're through that. We then have to design the solutions for them. We're through a lot of that, but not all of it. And then we have to put them in place and perform. Hackett's comments coming after the automaker said Q3 net income fell 37 percent to $991 million. Ford blaming the decline on poor results in overseas markets and higher commodity costs. Revenue, however, rose 3 percent to $37.6 billion, due in part to higher profit vehicles in North America. Ford is maintaining its full-year earnings forecast, but the company is backing off its goal of raising its global profit margin to 8 percent by 2020. Ford shares rose as much as 7 percent in trading after the closing bell. To Tesla now, the electric car maker blowing away expectations Wednesday, reporting a quarterly profit for just the third time in its history. CEO Elon Musk, who has often set goals and deadlines that Tesla has failed to reach, surprising investors by delivering on his profit pledge. I want to start by thanking all of our customers, employees, and shareholders. Uh, this was an incredibly historic quarter for Tesla. Tesla reported third quarter net income of $312 million as revenue doubled amid rising production of the Model 3 sedan. The results bolstering Musk's bid to make selling electric cars financially sustainable. We expect to again have a positive net income and cash flow in Q4 and uh, I believe our aspiration certainly will be for all quarters going forward. He says that does not include quarters where a big debt payment comes due, such as the first quarter of 2019. Musk reiterating that Tesla has no current plans to raise equity or debt. Despite logistical challenges, the automaker managed to deliver more than 56,000 Model 3s to customers in the quarter. And operating expenditures declined by $133 million as Tesla owners around the country volunteered to deliver vehicles during the last two weekends of the quarter. Musk offering an emotional thank you. I've never heard of a, of a case where a company's customers actually cared about the, the future of the company so much that they volunteered their time to help the, help the company succeed. Musk also announcing that the Model 3 will go on sale in Europe early next year. Now to Daimler, where quarterly earnings before interest and tax fell 27 percent to $2.85 billion. Daimler saying customer demand remains strong even as a regulatory crackdown on diesel cars and a 13 percent sales slowdown for Mercedes-Benz in Germany weighed on the company's results. And Hyundai Motors' third quarter profit plunged by two-thirds, hit by a $440 million one-time charge related to U.S. recalls. Quarterly net profit slid to $236 million. Finally, we'll wrap up with a first shift footnote. $7.2 billion. That's how much young people spent on modifying their cars last year, according to a report by the Specialty Equipment Market Association. Wheels are the single most common type of modification among 16 to 24-year-olds. Appearance enhancements are also very popular. Now, where they bought their parts varied. Auto parts chains such as AutoZone were the most common in the past year. Next were online-only general retailers like Amazon, followed by dealerships and tire shops. 
By the way, the annual SEMA show starts next week in Las Vegas. Thanks for watching the show. We'll see you back here tomorrow morning. Take care.